Hey guys, it's Vicki Jean here with Vicki Jean Wilson Art, where I teach you simple sketching and painting techniques to create art that you love. And I wanted to get on here for a minute and I wanted to show you how to use a tracer. Now, if you are not familiar how to use a tracer or a template, then I wanna show you in this video. And a lot of the tutorials that I do, I teach you the simple sketching techniques, right? But sometimes people are fearful of that. Sometimes they want a tracer. So let's start out. First, what is a tracer? If you don't know what a tracer is, it is line work of a piece that you are going to paint. So I've kind of printed this off and I've just kind of cut around it to make the shape a little bit better to uh, do. But uh, see how it's just lemons and leaves and a branch and we are going to be doing this uh, tutorial really soon. So, and it's going to be uh, on my uh, YouTube channel also and on Facebook, but uh, I'm offering the free template, so, or tracer. And that's what this is, is a tracer. Uh, instead of you sketching with me, you can already prepare your canvas or your mixed media pad, whatever you're going to paint on, uh, with this tracer. So I am going to show you now how to do that. So you will get the link, right? And you will download that uh, tracer uh, to your computer. And then you're going to print that out. And see, that's what this is. It's just on a piece of copy paper, just simple copy paper. And I've printed this out. Here is another one here in the, uh, you know, the larger sheet. Now, that's up to you, whatever size you want. You can decrease it or increase the size. Uh, this is on a simple sheet of copy paper, right? So after you have your sheet that is printed, you're gonna grab that, and plus you're going to get either your canvas, mixed media pad, whatever that you are going to paint directly on. So in this case, I've just grabbed a sheet of uh, mixed media pad, and I'm gonna put it down here on my uh, work table and I'm going to show you how to use this. Now the other thing, two things you need, you need a pencil or some type of a, a point, not really sharp, uh, and you are going to need graphite paper or transfer paper. Now this is one brand of transfer paper that I use. You can get this on a roll, which is what this is, you can get it in this gray. You can also get it, look at all the colors you can get. You can get it in the white, uh, a blue, a yellow, and a red. Now, this one comes in five colors. I only use the gray and the white. You know, I'm using the gray uh, so that it will show up on lighter surfaces, right? Uh, I sure wouldn't want to use a white transfer on this because I wouldn't be able to see it, of course. But if you've got a dark surface, like if you are uh, painting something on wood and it's a darker stained wood, then you're going to use a white graphite paper. So you're going to grab some of this. You're going to tear off some of it. Now, sometimes this comes in sheets and you don't have to get in a roll, but I just happen to have the roll. So I've cut off a little bit of it. And as you can see, there is kind of a, a smoother side to this paper, a lighter color. And then if you turn it around, look how darker it is. Well, that is the graphite part. So when you are doing the uh, transfer, you want to take your, uh, your copy of your tracer you have. You're going to lay it down on your mixed media pad or whatever it is. So remember this back surface is what you are painting on. I'm going to lay that right on top. I'm going to position it the way I want it. So if I want it angled, I'm going to angle it. If I want it, uh, you know, whatever direction that I want it, I'm going to kind of center it a little bit here. See how I have it? Now, if you are a little bit unsure of this, I would take just a tiny bit of scotch tape and maybe tape down a little bit of it, uh, the corners of it, so it doesn't move on you. Uh, I have used this for years. A lot of times I mainly sketch, but 
uh, I just hold it down with my fingers. So that's entirely up to you. If you uh, don't want it to move, then I would kind of uh, just tape that down in a few uh, little corners. So after you've done that, you're gonna lift up a piece of this here. Let me move this just a hair. See, I've lifted up the corner. And then I'm going to take the dark side of my graphite paper and I'm putting it against the piece that I am going to paint on. So you're gonna lift this up. You're gonna position it. So see how I've got it kind of sandwiched in? So my graphite paper is sandwiched in between the piece I'm gonna paint on and my tracer. So my tracer is on top. My piece I'm gonna paint on is the back and my graphite paper or transfer paper is in the middle with the dark side or the graphite facing down. So I'm going to hold it or I'm going to tape a few corners of it. And then I'm gonna take kind of a dull pencil here and I'm gonna hold this and I'm just gonna start going over the line work. I'm still holding it so it doesn't move. Now let's check. I always wanna check a little bit before I do the whole thing, right? You wanna do a little bit and then you check. So I'm going to hold this down and I'm gonna lift up this and see what's underneath. Can you see it? It's right there. See it right there? Easy peasy, right? So you continue to do that all the way through your design. So you will have at the very end, the completed transfer on your piece that you are painting on. So then when you come and paint with me, all you have to do is get your supplies and let's get started, right? That's all you gotta do. So that's how you use this. Now I do wanna show you one other method. Let's just say you haven't got to the store, right? And you want to paint with me one evening. So you're going to copy the same thing. You're gonna copy that tracer out on your paper. Then what you're gonna do if you've got thin paper, your copy paper, you can still see the lines through it, right? After you've printed it. You're gonna lay this down with the, the design down on your work surface. And I'm gonna take a pencil. Now we know what that is, that's graphite too. And I'm just gonna go across with the side of my pencil and put that graphite right on there. Just like that. Now I'm gonna turn it over here. I'm gonna turn my paper over so it's a clean sheet so you will see. I'm going to lay that part down that I've scratched the pencil on and I'm going to go over the lines again. Now I've just got a small section here to show you but I wanna show you how this works. I'm gonna lift it up to make sure that it's showing through. Looks like it is. Okay, so I've gone through the area. I'm gonna lift it up and looky, there you go. So you've got yourself an easy way to transfer your tracer to your piece that you're gonna paint on without using your graphite paper. Just in case you ran out or you haven't got to go to the store or the last minute you wanna paint and you know, you wanna be ready, right? So you could always use your pencil to do this with. So that is two easy ways to get your tracer onto your surface that you're gonna paint on. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this little video, this little training video, and uh, join me for more uh, tutorials 
and more techniques how to paint and create art that you love. Bye-bye.